I am super excited because here I am, two weeks after that last video, heading back towards the barn. Oh, here's the nest box here. The nest. Oh, the owl flew out. I was going to say, the door is open. So I'm not sure why the door is open, because it should be firmly shut. So I'm not sure what's happened there. Let's take a look inside. Do you remember last time I was really worried because there was a particularly small outlet and each egg is laid at two and a half day intervals so that if there is no food and of course the, the big owl, the first owl that was born, can then eat the little one. I know it's tragic, but have we got a little one? Has there been enough food going around or has that little one gone? So here I can't really see what's happening. I'm gonna put my hand in and see if I can. There we go. What's there? Oh, that's one. That looks like that's the little one. What's happening with the little one? Oh, no, the little one's good. Look, at there we go, there's the little one. So that's two. We got another one in the corner. Where's the fourth one? There we go. I think I can see them all now. He's right in the corner. Yep. Happy days. They've all managed to do their thing. That is super exciting. I'm going to grab the small one just so that we can have a comparison. This one just peed. Oh. So those guys are roughly the same. He's definitely, just, he's definitely the big one. Mm. If I get the little one out. That one just pooed. They do do that. But look at that little guy. It's tiny. Look at the size difference. Yeah, that so, goes fat, that goes slim. So as we know, this one's getting plenty of food now. And it's a 10 week process. So we're probably about halfway through it. But it does take 10 weeks for these guys to properly fledge. I'm gonna pop him back in there. And just look at those little talons. He's not doing anything yet, but soon, soon that little, those claws are gonna be super sharp. And then we'll be able to put the rings on their legs so that we know where they are. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, it's so beautiful. Right, let's put him back. These little guys are super fluffy. And under the wing there, I can see all those new wing feathers taking shape. What a wonderful creature. There we go, back into your nest box. Mummy's gonna be coming back soon. So that is great news. I can't believe that all four chicks have survived. And even though that last little guy he is still pretty small, but he's there, which must mean that the parent owls are being able to catch those four voles a night to feed each of those birds, because that's how much it takes. Anyway, the weather is now beautiful. The cold weather has gone. The sun has been out and it's perfect for hunting.